Geeks have been crushing on their idols for 10 years, but he found a hidden poem in his idol's updates. Mark, I love you, but the actor Mark is already married. Is it possible that his idol has been hiding something? He rushed to open their social networks, and soon found the clues. First, they posted pictures of themselves at the zoo on the same day. Then they wore the same bracelet at the same time. The most important evidence is, the flowers bought by the man appeared in the idol's room the next day. Didn't realize his idol was such a person. He immediately uploaded all the evidence on the internet. In less than two hours, it hit the top of the hit list. The idol's persona collapsed instantly. The fans were furious. Just when he was enjoying the praise of the netizens, the idol's lawyer's letter has already arrived. The agency is suing him for defamation. The settlement fee is $10 million. He doesn't have that kind of money. At this moment, moment. His mother suddenly knocked on the door. She said the police were looking for him. He was instantly shocked. This is too fast, right? And the police officer didn't say anything. He showed the tweet about his idol. Jack had to admit that he did it himself. Unexpectedly, the officer was so excited that he asked him to help investigate a missing person case. It turned out that the police recognized Jack's cyber investigation skills. As long as he agreed to join the investigation team, they would help him solve his idol's lawyer's letter. Jack had no choice but to agree. The missing person is Julie, a member of the dance troupe. She was dancing at a concert a few days ago. But when the lights went out during the transition, Julie disappeared into thin air. Jack started watching the footage from that day over and over again, and soon realized something was wrong. Julie was staring in one direction during the show, followed her gaze. A tattooed man appeared in the frame. When Julie disappeared, the man left the venue right after her. Jack checked the security cameras near the concert. He finally found Julie's trail. At that moment, a van appeared on the screen and forced Julie into it. The police followed Jack's lead, and quickly tracked the vehicle's whereabouts from roadside surveillance. But when the police arrived at the abandoned factory. They found Julie's body. Jack got scared. He couldn't afford to be involved in a murder case like this. But the police didn't want to let go of a talent like him, so they tried to seduce him with a beautiful woman. They brought in Anna a policewoman in training. Jack was instantly impressed. She's exactly his type. Anna said she admired boys who were good at what they did. Jack was instantly motivated. Soon after, he found a new clue. He found two moles on Julie's hand, and in a photo of another celebrity. The girl next to her had two identical moles on her hands. The photo was from a party. After that party, Jolie, who wasn't rich, was carrying a $200,000 bag. They searched for a long time and finally found Julie in the corner of the video. She was arguing with a man. But when the man turned around, they were shocked. That man is the police officer Tom, who came to him for the case. Jack sneaked the message to the policewoman, but then Tom suddenly joined the group chat. He said there's no need to continue the investigation. We found Julie's killer. It's a sleazy bastard. Everyone was shocked. Something didn't feel right. The policewoman decided to follow Tom. Jack continued to gather clues. Soon he found out who was organizing the party. The towel in the man's hand was a gift from Julie's bag. The two photos were taken only a day apart. It's obvious that the man is Julie's recognized godfather. Jack was about to break the news to the policewoman. When he connected to the video, he realized she was following Tom. Using the police's location system. She quickly picked up Tom's trail, but when she got closer, she realized Tom wasn't breathing. At that moment, Jack received a video call. The person who appeared was the living Tom. Jack subconsciously asked if you have a twin brother. Tom's face suddenly changed and he hung up the video with a curse. The policewoman investigated and realized that the dead man was the real Tom. The one who had been connecting with them was an imposter. He watched the video repeatedly and found traces of the AI face swap. But then Anna suddenly got nervous. Jack asked her what was wrong. But Anna just said she didn't feel well and hurriedly hung up the video. The next day, the policewoman brought Tom's computer. They found a new clue in it. Tom had recorded his last words, saying Julie was his informant. They were investigating Julie's godfather. Charles. But Charles is a very powerful man. He's not sure he can get away safely. It looks like Charles is the key to the case. Jack continued to search the internet. He found out that many of the items in Charles's house came from a company called Tikoku. Jack suddenly remembered that Tom had mentioned this company in the video before he died. He said he'd be meeting with an informant at the old Tiko factory. Jack followed the lead and joined a group chat about the company. In it, the group said, Tikoku makes electronics on the surface, but they're secretly smuggling chemical weapons. It was a shocking revelation. Jack wanted to tell the policewoman about it. But as soon as the video picked up, he realized the policewoman looked nervous. The policewoman told Jack to bring the laptop. Jack realized something was wrong. He immediately went into video mode. After the call, he watched it over and over again. Sure enough, he saw the policewoman being threatened by someone else on one of the mirrors. At the end of the video, Jack saw a string of device codes. He searched the area and found that it was the old Tikoku factory. Jack immediately set off and decided to rescue the policewoman himself. He went to the warehouse and threw out the fireworks he had prepared. While the crowd is in chaos, he pulls out a water pistol filled with mustard and shoots them in the eyes. The crowd was turned upside down. Jack took the opportunity to untie the policewoman. They escaped from the warehouse. But just before they reached the door, they were blocked. Charles finally showed up. He grabbed the computer and ordered his men to kill them. The situation was critical. Charles's cell phone kept ringing. 
ringing. He opened it and was dumbfounded. He was on the top of the hot list, and all the evidence of his crime was released to the public. It turned out that Jack had been pondering a question since he found out the truth. Where did Julie's evidence go? Until he read a comment. A girl group member accused Julie of stealing, and it dawned on him. Julie must have gotten the evidence, but when she realized she was being followed, she stuffed it into her teammate's bag. But this scene was misunderstood by her teammates, thinking Julie was stealing. On the way here, Jack asked his mother to find the evidence, and the mother did not disappoint. Rushed into the teammate's live room, and found the flash drive in the bag, and announced it on the air. At that moment, the policewoman noticed that Charles's men were distracted. She rushed up and kicked over the pistol. The situation was reversed in an instant. Charles could only surrender. And at the end of the story, Jack found Anna, who was working with him, and confessed his love to her. But Anna rejected him. It's not that she doesn't like Jack, it's just that I'm your mom. Jack was shocked. It turns out that mom saw Jack stay at home all the time, so she took the opportunity of the investigation to play a drama with the police, in order to make Jack realize, idols can collapse. You can be cheated in online dating. The person who loves you deeply may be right next to you.